fingerprints on the desk, you insolent fools! Hey Geeks, it's J-Law. A few weeks ago, we had a blast looking back at one of our favorite Nickelodeon cartoons, Rugrats. For this week's Funboxing, we're throwing it back to a far more underappreciated Nickelodeon cartoon from the early 2000s. Invader Zim was a brilliant show that aired from 2001 to 2004. Here we meet Zim, an eager, if not horribly clumsy alien determined to prove his worth as a world conqueror. After royally screwing up, Zim is paired with an equally annoying robot, Gur, and banished by his peers to conquer a planet that doesn't really exist. Unfortunately, he actually does find a planet, Earth, and quickly begins his mission for world domination. He easily blends in as an Earthling child and is able to fool everyone about his true origins and motives. Everyone, that is except Dip, a paranoid paranormal investigator determined to expose Zim for who he truly is. What unfolds next is a series of misadventures as the alien and his arch nemesis continue to find new ways to try to foil each other's plans while failing miserably in the process. It's almost impossible to guess how Funko could have captured the pure zaniness of this cartoon. So let's take a look. Flying in from the planet Urk. This is Zim and Gur on the pick, number 41 in the Pop Rise collection. Released in 2018, this is a Hot Topic exclusive. Hopefully we're able to fun box this before Zim actually figures out how to conquer the world. This seems like another plot doomed to fail. And as you know, whether we're investigating alien invaders or checking out another awesome pop, it's all about the details. Invader Zim has a wild and crazy scheme to take over the world in every episode. In the episode that this pop was inspired by, Zim attempts to recover his crashed spaceship, which has been stolen by a group of alien-loving fanatics. When these fanatics discover Zim's true identity, they begin to worship him. In order to flee the fanatics, Zim combines his spaceship with a giant inflatable pig that he and Gur used to escape before it's too late. They absolutely nailed it with this pop. Every detail is just as colorful and zany as the cartoon it's inspired by. I love the pastel colors they've used to bring it to life. The way the pig is tilted on its stand really helps to make it look like it's floating. He looks great with those big bulging eyes and that curly little tail. I love Zim's determined face as he drives the ship with purpose, while also looking annoyed. But of course he's annoyed, as adorable Gur clings to him for dear life. Whether you're a longtime fan of the show, or just looking for a crazy and unique pop to add to your collection, one thing is for sure, we all want to ride this pig. Unfortunately, much like the short-lived animation series, we'll have to cut this short before we find out if Zim actually succeeds in his ultimate mission. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's Funboxing. Are there any other characters from this show that you would love to see immortalized? What other shows were you sad to see cancelled before their time? And do you wish you had a flying pig? Let us know in the comments below. As always, we are Geekcentric and you can be too. So be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Yay, cupcakes!